holds the breath, the breath of life, and then the soul has various meanings. But the meaning I'm going to use is as the seat of will and purpose. If you notice that Greek word shohei, it's used 95 times in the New Testament. And a verse that refers to it, I'm going to be using is Matthew chapter 22, verse 37, with the refers to the seat of will and purpose. So Matthew 22, verse 37, He said unto him, that she loved the Lord, that God and all the heart, the, and all the soul and will of all mine. Then Acts chapter 4, verse 32, And the multitude of them that believe were one heart and one soul, and neither said any of them thought that things which possessed possess was his own, but they had all things common. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 6, Not with eye service as a men pleasers, but as the servant of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. To Matthew, it's one of the earliest first accounts of Jesus Nazareth in life as the direction. The book itself is an ominous, earth realized tradition. It's Matthew, the tax collector, one of the twelve apostles, as he appears himself. Chapter 30 to 40 years of the oral traditions, accounts about Jesus and teaching and Israel's leaders. leaders. He goes up pass over the uh, riding over his donkey. And Jesus, Megidian, as the court of the temples, is a huge disruption. Daily sacrifices, his action, to speak louder than words. As an Israel king is asserting his rule authority for the place where God Israel meant. In Jesus' view, it's not a temple is compromised because of hypocrisy. He's here, he's challenging. Naturally, the leaders, they try to trap Jesus, they try to shame him, and they fail. They determined to kill Jesus. Jesus responds. He offers a critique of the Pharisees, you hypocrites. Jerusalem's rejection of God. Jesus' ritual. The Book of Acts, second volume, a unified two-fold work. For the Luke and Acts, the, the same Arthur Luke, a traveling co worker with Paul, uses pilgrims, the ancient roads, the ancient cities, all these spirit comes as a great wind, like flames, the announcing carrying God's stories, You're speaking all these languages, and people gathered there. Or like, what did he sing? Says so the story. The old testament roots. First, the wind and the fire. Of God's glory, presence, and the tabernacle. It's all connected to the prayer of promise. And by his spirit, the sending a kingdom. The book of Acts. She is God's presence in them to dwell. Luke is saying, the new temple, the new prophets, it's the new covenant of his people and his family. Luke is trying to say, second thing is, when Jesus comes to dwell in the place, are you unified on the tribes of Israel? The king, and good news, God's reign, announced the nations, that describes the international tribe makeup, a digitalites that made their responded message. The apostles keep calling Israelites. That's not Jesus as king. And thousands and thousands respond. A new community of generosity, celebration. That everybody's celebrating. New souls. All these new family. Vitality, new temples. This is called design. Strong tales of disciples, accumulate Jesus followers, again the, the kept couple towards, and leave between those notices. And Peter, below apostles, 
you're not arrested. You're my a speech of Peter, and he's the true telling Jesus the true king of Israel. Jesus tells Jesus followers, sell your possessions to help the poor. It's really cool. See, kind of random. And then you realize it's a practice described the law of the Torah. It's supposed to be happening by the temple and the leaders. Lucas points here. In the temple of Jesus is a feeling that God's always tempted the Jews to the a place where heaven and earth and meet and enter God's generosity and healing presence. I was reading the two temples at 6, 1 to 8 to 7. First followers. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Slower how Paul came to the city and says, really interesting. You can read about it in Acts chapter 9. Ephesus is a huge city. It's the epicenter of worship of most of the Greek and Roman gods. Over two years, Paul reached the effective missionary presence there. Also, he became follower of Jesus. Years later, after imprisoned by the Roman, Paul wrote this letter. Movement of thought letter divides into two really clear challenges every Christian to take off their old man and like a set of old clothes. Put in their new man, which is the image of God being restored. And it goes along the section where it comprehends the old man with the standard line. New man is speak true. Instead of harboring anger, first to peacefully resolve the conflicts. Instead of stealing, the new man is generous. Not a gossiping, they encourage people with their word. Instead of getting revenge, humans forgive. Instead of a gratifying sexual impulse, the new is self control of body and desires. Without a control, new humans, influence of the God Spirit. And as well as how, how transfer looks like in different ways. The, the first two with this thing, singing together, but singing alone. It's very interesting. But the form of things of all people have worked with Jesus is singing music. And there's influence is being thankful for everything. For it is that spirit will compel Jesus' followers. It was a self under and elevate themselves, more important than themselves. Bug expands the fourth part by showing how it works in Christian marriage. You have wife 